What is going on AFC former fans? And I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading for absolutely ages now. I have got two channels, well I've got three channels I'm trying to run and one of them, my main channel FIFA, is is taking a very lot out of me due to team this season being out. If you don't know what that is then just either go and check the channel out or just go and look at FIFA 16 or whatever and what's going on now. But we're back to discuss the AFC Bournemouth season as a whole. Now it is finished, we came um, 16th in the league and that is where I predicted on my main channel that we would finish. Now I think that's a very good like season for us to be fair. We've had a lot of injuries and to stay in the Premier League after suffering those injuries to 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 uh, to, uh, to, t to key players, I, I can't talk. But yeah, like Wilson, Mings, Gradle, very, very key, Elflick, key, key players to us. And we managed to survive. So that is a very, very lot of credit due to Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall and the backroom staff. Where do I think we're going to finish next season now? Currently, we've not signed anyone, but we have been linked with Raul Moreles from Fenerbahce, former Chelsea player, Ryan Mason from Tottenham, and I would take them both. However, I I don't know why. I think the goalie needs addressing. We need a new goalie. Borrocks is quite old and he's going to be retiring soon, I expect. So we do need a new goalie. Again, we've been linked with Kieran Westwood from Sheffield Wednesday. I don't think he is the guy because we need someone who's been in the Premier League and is quite young and he, he's, you know, he, he knows what he's doing, basically. So I would take someone like Westwood to replace Federici because, for me, he, he's not a Bournemouth Premier League player whatsoever. But... You know, I'm not going to get into that. He's a player for us, so I've got to respect him. And uh, to be fair, when he was called upon in the season, he was very good. But the, t the key to this season or this transfer window is to keep hold of Callum Wilson and Matt Ritchie. Now, I believe we've rejected a bid within the region of £40 million for uh, Ritchie and Wilson from West Ham. Um, and... If we sell them, we need to replace them with big players, like really big players, because they are our key players. Yeah, Richie had a bit of a dead end of the season, but, you know, he scored some crucial goals in the season, if you think about it, really. And we need to keep Eddie Howe. He's rumoured to be Everton's first choice or whatever, but I don't see him leaving anytime soon, really, unless he's sacked. And I don't even see us sacking him, even if we get relegated, because we love him that much. So, the players I would be interested in bringing to the club, Andre, uh, Andre Gray from Burnley. He would be a fantastic replacement for Callum Wilson. Danny Ings, fantastic replacement for Wilson. Bring him back to the club. Everyone at the club loves Danny Ings. Like, you know, there's, there's some, we need that type of short, fast player to play off Joshua King or Benneke Fobi. Now, I think King has by, by far been my player of this season because he has improved so so much it is unreal i just want to quickly say though as well we need to look at the defense because for me when smith was at right back with cook and francis and daniels in the like the next part of the defense we were very 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 solid we beat man united we beat chelsea we were very very hard to beat when we had that as a back four as soon as smith got injured and Francis went back to right back and Elphick came in. We just looked utterly rubbish. We really did. Now, I love Elphick. I've met him a couple of times, spoken to him and whatnot. And I really do like him. And don't get me wrong, last season in the championship, he was very, very good for us. But I don't know whether he came back too soon. He wasn't match fit. Or what it was, but for me, Francis and Cook as a partnership was much, much better than Cook and Elphick. I don't know what it was, but yeah. We've also released Distan. He's gone, like, we haven't got him anymore, which I think is a bit upsetting because he has been around the block. Like, he's been in the Premier League for an absolute age now, right? And he's got the experience, which I think 
we could have used to our advantage on any younger players coming through, right? So, if you look, we've got some very talented players that are on the bench for us or on loan. You know, the one, the kid that was on loan at Kidderminster, well, I forgot his name, but he's an amazing player. Like, he is really good, right? So, with someone like Distan there, who's been in the Premier League, like, basically all his career... We just need a player like that. So I'm a bit shocked we released him. Okay, yeah, wages might have been an issue. But, like, we're a Premier League club. Surely we can afford that hierarchy of wage currently, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm happy with the overall season. Comment down below who you thought was your favourite player or your best player of the season. For me, personally, it was Joshua King because he was a bit crap at the start of the season. But as he got through and got his games and got his goals, mate... He is by far my player of the season. I loved him and I look forward to seeing him next year in a Bournemouth shirt. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading, but when like rumours come in or we sign players or sell players, there should be videos out on the channel very, very soon regarding all of those. And next season might be a new season for us where we hopefully break into the top 10 i'm hoping for that because we just missed out if you think about it we were very very close um but hopefully bournemouth is in a good place which i think it is i'm looking forward to the future as a cherries fan guys let me know what you're thinking or what you thought of this season and where you think we'll finish next season what players you want to see us sign and come follow me on twitter afcb sam link will be in the description Along with my two other channels, if you're interested, one's a fashion clothing channel and one's a thief channel. So go and check them both out and sub. And uh, sub to the channel as well if you're a Bournemouth fan. And yeah, I'll see you all next time.